Hi guys, quick correction, or perhaps better said update, to um, an alternate approach to dealing with entering the correct scores for the incorrect shooter. In the previous video that I just posted, I suggested that we could go back into the incorrect shooter, zero those scores out manually. There is a, an option in practice score to reset the scores for the incorrect shooter. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's enter scores. Stage 5, Squad 2, say that we want to enter scores for Godzilla, but we mistakenly select King Kong. So we enter the scores. Alright, so we've satisfied the scoring detail. It's complete. We review the scores. Shooter reviews the scores they're correct, doesn't recognize that they're being um, attributed to the incorrect shooter, and they select save. Now, to deal with that, we would select the incorrect shooter, reassign those scores to another shooter. In this case, it should have been Godzilla. The scores are attributed to Godzilla. Now, we want to deal with zeroing out King Kong's scores. We can display the incorrect scores or the scores incorrectly attributed to that shooter, select the three dot menu, and choose Reset. That saves us from having to manually uh, zero out the stage scores, which I think was probably the incorrect approach. It's workable, it results in the correct um, uh, in the correct solution, but this is quicker. In this approach, selecting Reset, we have a red indicator next to King Kong now, and it's showing us here on the right-hand side that King Kong has a scoring history. But when we go in to score King Kong's pass, we can enter his scores appropriately, and when we choose Review, we'll note that he's got the, the um, Previous scores that should have been attributed to Godzilla. The current score, which is uh, an incomplete on that stage. And then he's entered the um, 16 alphas, or pardon me, uh, we, we've given him the 16 alphas, the time he commits that. And now the appropriate scores for King Kong are current. That is to say, those are the scores that will be used for the purposes of match scoring and, and tabulation of overall results. Choosing the reset option results in a slightly more uh, cluttered, if you will, score history. Looking down here at the score history, it shows the scores that were incorrectly attributed to him in the first place. It shows an incomplete attempt at the stage as a result of having reset it. And then we've got the current scores here at the top. Those are the scores that will be used for the purposes of, uh, of overall results and tabulating um, uh, final standings. Bit of a clarification, both approaches will work. This approach, while it's a little more elegant, so to speak, results in a slightly more um, uh, detailed score history, if you will. All right, thanks very much.